Good morning, everybody. We are back out on another adventure. Um, let me actually show you the sign. A lifelong, lifelong dream of mine has always been to fish Lake Nipigon. Unfortunately, it's a three hour drive and this weather is horrible and it's even worse up there today. With the lake, the launches, we can only launch on the one side here and it's pretty open and it, the weather wouldn't be working, but Lake Nipigon, to all intents and purposes, is really a great lake. Um, it is the 38th largest lake in the world, and it feeds into the Nipigon River under Alexander Falls, and there's another fall and dam. Feeds into the river, which is where we're going to fish today. We're going to spend some time. Um, the Nipigon River is the largest river to flow into Lake Superior, and it also holds the world record for the largest brook trout at 14 pounds, eight ounces, caught somewhere in these waters. Now it's fall, so we'll see it when we get closer down that way. But you can see the boats down there and they're trolling back and forth. Um, all those rocks are usually falls when we watch them on videos, but this time of season they are down. Um, what happens here for us today is there's everything possible in this lake obviously at different times different fish different strategies but you could basically find anything in here what happens at this time of year is because of the dam the big boy salmon can't get past that dam so they all congregate up there but you could really find them anywhere so we don't know how long we'll be here we just thought it was a cool dam to see a couple good shots and see maybe we could pull something out of here so i mean i am being extremely unfair talking to you right now and i should really help kyle with uh launching this baby so let's get this boat launched so i don't make him do all this work and once we're in the water closer to the dam i'll check in show you what i see and we'll go from there let's make a day out of it but cheers. another cool place say that again cheers there you go let's do this another fun day up in uh, the thunder bay region you can see there's some current here, but compared to some of the other rivers we were on, like Niagara or even the Cam River the last trip, this is not much for current compared to what we've seen. So we got everything set back up, the roof, everything. You can see where the waterfall typically is, that whole rock across is water. There's a little stream coming down, but that's about it right now. So what they say is end of August, first couple weeks into September, you get all the salmon coming up here so we figured since we're driving around trying to find a dry place to fish let's come up here we watched a few videos and apparently they said what that guy's doing trolling the buoys they said that's what we should be doing trolling the trolling the buoys back and forth and uh maybe we'll get lucky um somewhere up here there's a fish sanctuary as well that we can't go into but that apparently increases the amount of fish in the area so yeah what we're gonna do is they told us to start using those uh, jointed lures because of the action in the water so we're gonna set up start using those and uh, with any luck catch something shortly so I don't know where I put my chest mount yesterday but we're gonna mount this camera here instead for now and if Kyle catches, I'll just have to grab it. So let's get us set up and uh, hopefully make a video. All right, fish on. That, oh yeah. Oh fuck. Oh yeah. Ooh, First one taking, he's got. She's taking me. That didn't take long at all. Oh fuck. I think I lost it now. No, I got her. What's going on, man? Oh fuck. What? Cut it right off. Oh, there goes the fish. Oh. This is going to be a big fish, guys within five minutes and I can't do nothing right now. What's happening? <laughs> if I cut mine, I'm trying to touch the fucking metal eater. It's just crap. Okay, reel it in, buddy. Okay, here. It's, I, I don't know if it's the current that's making it heavy, but I have like no power over this thing. He 
he's at the surface. He's tired already after all that time. I just have barely any pull for him. I can't tell if he's big or if he's small, but I have like, look at me, I'm full force on this rod. Yeah, it's the current. There's it more. That I'm fully fighting him. All my strength right now. He's got his mouth open. Not even that big. He's got his mouth oh, open. Oh, I just lost him. Oh my god. I just lost him. Oh, we're gonna catch him back. I gotta get my rod set up now. Wow. <laughs> I <laughs> fought him for so long and I lost him at the end. Did you see him at all? Oh yeah. How I big got, was he? Uh, yeah, I had seen his mouth coming out, I don't know, like... Um, with this broomstick rod, I've also never seen this rod bend like that. I know a lot of it was the current, but even when I had him at the surface, I barely could move him, if at all. When he was in the water, it was just like, I thought I was snagged if it wasn't for the head shakes every couple seconds. Um, it felt like a full snag. Now, realistically, probably blame that on salami fishing, um, getting the lure stuck in my line. There's a good chance that that is the extra time we lost that made us lose the fish. But in all defense as well, while that lure was stuck, we could not even move. I couldn't even move that fish. It felt like I was in a dead snag. So. Did I really lose much time with that before we got it off? We'll never know, but we've been here, I guess, another 10 minutes. Kyle's just eating a sandwich and uh, the gods haven't given me my redemption yet, but I, the blood's pumping and I need to, that was, that was a PB for me for sure. But um, we're gonna probably move over a bit out of the faster current into the little deeper pocket here and then maybe let it take us down a bit and see what happens. Um, still lots of day, we've only been out here like half an hour, but damn, that one irks me. Oh well, it's fishing, not catching. Let's uh, keep going. Imagine it just opens up. Oh, water everywhere. Here's the entrance to the sanctuary, I believe, all the way down that channel. And the next fish I'm going to catch comes out of there. There is weeds, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh shit, another fish right there. Yeah, man. I keep seeing them jump. That's the calm area. They keep jumping in there. Kyle just told me there's weeds in here. You need to catch this one. Look at that. He's still looking at him. Yeah. Oh yeah. You need to catch him. You can't lose this one. This is your redemption for me. Across the river, either way, both sides. This one doesn't want to come in, man. Love that. Feels awesome. Oh, oh. So nice. It's like going to that boat. <laughs> Turned around, he's taking a long time. You can feel it when he turns around. Mm -hmm. Watch the end of the rod and see. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Get him in here. A little more. A little more closer. Oh, he's lost, Casper. I know, I can't, I can't reach that far. But that's his last run at the boat. It won't come up, man. Oh, under the oh fuck. Yeah. Oh, no. fuck. No. Grab the other net. Oh, shit. Oh. Bring him in. Oh, God.
Oh yeah. Check yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a fish. Awesome man. That was fun. That was a good fight. I like that. That was awesome. Never caught one before. Dang. Is this one on? Yeah. This one's a lot smaller than the last one. <laughs> like look, I'm actually moving. Look, I'm actually like within seconds able to pull this one in, so. Whatever I had before is not this. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice scoop. Oh yeah, that looks that looks just like the size of mine, man. Turn yeah. around and get a nice picture of it. Beauty. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry buddy. He's gone. A little bit of a fumble there. I should add my gloves oh. on. Not bad. That's, I guess, redemption. But whatever I had before was fighting twice as hard as that. Yeah. Like, three times as hard. Well, we're still up here trolling towards that dam. Hoping uh get another one along the way. At least we got some sort of redemption. I still think whatever I had earlier was uh, a lot bigger. But I'm trying to... Put in consideration that we were a little closer to the dam so maybe the extra current still a lot here but maybe the extra current there made it feel heavier i don't know not bad been out here maybe what just under two hours and uh seems all right two one one loss the last one was the one we wanted but isn't that the story of all fishing stories so let's go a little further and see what uh, we can hit another all right, guys, so we're gonna do one more pass. Um, starting to rain on us and the fog's coming in. There's a big storm coming in to Thunder Bay across Superior there. So, as always, you know, dodging storms because they like to follow me. What we're gonna do is one more pass all the way up towards the parking lot, which is right by the dam, and uh, call it a day. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the next clip is a fish. If not, it'll be an outro. I guess time will tell. Here, one big ass seagull. Jeez Louise. All right, guys, we are off the water, and it wasn't too bad for a couple of quick hours. Um, just so happens the MNR guy is sitting there, and we were talking to him, and uh, he says quite a few people come and get nothing. So the fact that we had three hits and two in the water, um, can't complain. He says by the color of the salmon, I showed him the video clip. By the color of it he goes would have still had lots of good meat and lots of life left in it so that's why all the boats are out here fishing the shore and trolling that whole riverbed but it was all right quite all right so right now we just got everything out of the water we're uh doing the final tie downs and uh the good news is we got some tips about where to go tomorrow from uh, them and our guys so we're gonna investigate and uh maybe have another good day out tomorrow three in a row let's see let's see so again thanks to mr kyle for bringing me out and uh we'll see you on the next one tomorrow yeah